Okay, in this video, we're going to look at solving trigonometric exam question using the cosine rule. Before we go ahead, you need to know how this rule, the cosine rule, works. Number one, if you have been given side, side, side in a triangle, in other words, if you've been given all the sides in a triangle, just know that you are supposed to use the cosine rule. For example, if you are given this side, this side, and that other side, and you are asked to find one of the angles, then just know that the rule that you are supposed to use is the cosine rule. Number two, when you are given a side and an angle, then another side. So when you have side, angle, side, then you need to know that the rule that you are supposed to use in solving any problem involving that particular triangle in trigonometry is the cosine rule. So whenever you have a sassy situation, it means you are using the cosine rule. You are supposed to use the cosine rule. Now, when you look at this problem that we have, we have been given a side, then an angle, and side, another side. It means at the moment we have this situation here. So because we have, we have this situation here, this situation allows us to use the cosine rule. Okay. So here's the question they're saying, calculate BP. So they want us to calculate BP. Okay. So uh, when dealing with the cosine rule, you can see that here, you have been given an angle that is opposite to the side that they are asking us to find. And so we are going to say, this is capital letter K. Here we are going to write a, a small letter K. Again, here you have capital letter B. So here you are going to have small letter B. The same here you are going to have uh, small letter P. So what they are asking us to find is K, the dist this distance here. So we are going to find this by using the cosine rule so we are going to have this is k we are looking for so we're going to have k squared is equal to now you need to understand very well here we are looking for this side that is opposite to this angle so what you use as you are finding this side you're going to use these given sides plus the given angle in your cosine rule so we're going to say k, k squared is equal to b squared the given side plus the other given side which is p squared okay so we are saying we are going to have k squared is equal to b squared plus p squared minus two uh, these same given sides p b times cos then the the angle that you are going to put here is the given angle here 110 degrees okay so we go ahead and substitute, so we're going to have k squared is equal to b, b is 5 kilometers, so we're going to write 5 squared here, plus p is 3, so we have 3 squared minus uh, 2 times p is 3, times b is 5, then times cos 110 degrees, okay. So you're going to see that if you simplify this side, if you simp simplify this side, you're you are going to have 34 minus, again, if you multiply and simplify this, 2 times 3 times 5, you're going to have 30 uh, times cos 110 degrees. So cos 110 degrees is negative. So negative number times this negative 30, you're going to have a positive number and so you're going to see that uh, if you punch in the calculator this you're going to have 34 plus 10.26 uh, when you add this you're going to have k squared is equal to uh, 44.26 at this stage remember we are looking for the value of k and not k squared so what you do is to take square roots on both sides so this and that you go then you have k is equal to uh, the square root of 44.26 is 6.65 
Okay, so now since they are looking for BP, you now conclude and say, therefore, BP is equal to 6.65 and the units are in kilometers, kilometers. So this is the BP. Then let's look at the second one. The second one they are saying calculate the area of a triangle BKP. This is a nani right angled triangle. So for us to find the area of this triangle, it means we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a non right angled triangle and the formula is area is equal to half then we are going to use the given sides please uh, take note of this you are supposed to use the given sides so we are going to say half times uh, b times p so you are using the given sides and an angle then sign sign the angle the given angle 110 degrees 110 degrees okay so now we go ahead and replace so we have half times b is 5 here we say b is 5 so we have 5 times P is 3. So 3 times sine 110 degrees. Okay. Now when you multiply this and divide by 2, you are going to see that the area is going to be 7.04769. Okay. So... We need to write this correct to two decimal places or three significant figures according to the uh, exam standard. So we're going to have area being equal to 7.05 uh, square kilometers. Okay, let's now look at uh, the third question. The third question, they want you to find the shortest distance from K to BP. K is here to BP. So in other words, uh, you need to draw a line here. And when this line uh, joins or touches this line, it will touch it, it will touch this line at 90 degrees. So meaning now this is the height. Okay, so this is the height. In other words, when they, they are asking you to find the shortest distance, it means they're asking you to find the height so the height is equal to the shortest distance so because we have formed the 90 degrees here we will now use the formula for finding the area of a right angled triangle in order for us to find what the height is okay so we'll go ahead and use the formula area is equal to uh, half uh, base times height so the height is actually the shortest distance we are looking for okay area we already found the area so the area that we are going to use is um, is this one here is this one so we are going to put where this area we put that so 7.05 is equal to half times uh, the base, so the base, the base is the line BP, is the, is the distance BP, okay, BP, because you are moving from there to join or to touch BP, so this now becomes the base, and we found that the base, which is BP, is 6.65, so we are going to say half times 6.65, times the height which is h the height h which is, which is the shortest distance we are looking for so we have 7.05 is equal to 1 times 6.65 times h you have 6.65 h divided by 2 
divided by 2. Then at this point on the right you have a fraction. You can also make this as a fraction by saying over 1. So you can say 1 times 6.65H you have 6.65H. Then 2 times 7.05 is 14.1. Uh, remember we are looking for for h so to find h divide through by 6.65 okay 6.65 so 6.65 divides and so you remain with h is equal to 14.1 divided by 6.5 is 2.12 kilometers so we just have to conclude and say h is equal to shortest distance which is equal to 2.12 2 2.12 kilometers Thank you for watching. Once again, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, comment, hit the like button and share.